Hello, guys. Well, we're right back on our floor where we had left off, and now we're in this um, shower area. So, like we were saying, the tiles are going to run on a 45 for the, for the outside walls. And uh, we had made up all these little squares, and these are like uh, almost four inches. You get you get nine tiles out of a twelve by twelve when you when you slice them and you leave um, you go a little bit under four so you have a thick the thickness of the blade and um, so when you do these on a forty five you've got to make these half tiles um, where you, where your perimeter goes so the so the layout is um, so you have an equal layout the points meet each other. Because it's really, the tiles are going um, point to point, you know. That's how they pretty much lay out when they, when they fill in with each other, make the grid. But it's basically a square floor that you just, um, you do a, a regular floor. It's just that it's twisted on a 45 degree angle to the, to the other walls. So, but when you look at it this way, it's just a regular uh, square floor. But the little diamonds come in because you're on a 45. So, and with this stuff, with these type of things, we like to kind of just get like a dry layout because sometimes just, just moving the grout joint just a touch can make a big difference of how, how the floor lays out, where it lays out. So, um, kind of give yourself a preview of what's going to happen to you before you start thin setting. It's kind of nice to see what's going to happen. So the way we get get to see the preview is just to lay it dry. So you can see we're missing this corner by about that much. So we know that when we lay these tiles, we can just open up these uh, route joints just a touch to get those to fall in line where they belong. See now, if we just put them in the way we were gonna put them in, we're, we're off, our corners are off. And uh, we're missing the wall. You don't wanna have like a sliver there. It's gonna look funny, especially in this area. So this is kind of like the beginnings of the layout is where you're gonna see, see it the most. If there's a little bit of a of an irregular thing to the floor, it's this edge here and that edge there, most important. Because the other two edges that we have there and there is under a heater anyway, the baseboard heats there. So, I mean, we can see how it lays out there and we can adjust there too. If we have to just move something slightly on the grout joint, we can get it to lay to those walls also. But uh, what's important right now is this lineal drain how it meets that and how it meets this wall, the shower wall, shower head wall, and, and this wall over here because it's totally visible. Anyways guys, that's um, the beginnings of the shower floor. I figured just share a layout video with you and just show you how we get going rather than just show you the floor all done and explain it. We just um, It's a process. It takes a little bit, but um, you know, in the long run, the floor is going to be could be here for a long, long time. And you know, to try to do take a little extra time in the beginning when you're doing it is nothing compared to how long it could be here. This floor could last more than a hundred years, anyways. Anyways, if you get the uh, waterproofing held up that tile itself could last that no problem so it's easy just to take your time lay it out like a puzzle and then uh, once you're comfortable with the way the pieces are fitting in the puzzle you just mix up your thin set and try to set them nice and even and then uh, that's it that floor is there for a long time because marble marble lasts and um, now, 
people are remodeling all the time. They're tearing stuff up that they had done, but this ain't gonna be torn up. This will stay and um, it will just be the way it is. Anyways, that's it for now, guys. Just showing you how we uh, get a layout going and how the beginnings of it start. We'll, we'll keep posting as we make more progress, but uh, just sharing how we, how we get the ball rolling. Okay, till the next one, guys.